Wall Street continued the Dow up over 100 points on Friday, but now rebounding nicely today, up 169. Our financial expert Rob Black joining us now in a big Fed meeting this week. Ben Bernanke going to speak, and everyone's going to listen. You're correct. Tuesday and Wednesday yeah. concludes Wednesday late morning here in the West Coast, early afternoon on the East Coast. I still work in East Coast time in my head. <laughs> but that's the big driving thing of the market right now, the cheap money, or as I like to refer to it, the ultra cheap money. Will the Fed start talking about tapering of mortgage debt? You saw real estate investment trusts get murdered in the last month, in large part because that mortgage debt being low cost, ultra cheap, um, has helped drive some of their earnings in the recent uh, two or three years. So there's a transition happening where we're going from Fed assisted life support, i.e. cheap money, and we're moving towards the economy's getting a little bit better. So, and I'd prefer the economy's getting a little bit better story than the Fed supported life support scenario. I think we all do. And Netflix is doing a bit better too. Another big announcement from them. Yeah, the crew. Um, they're making a sequel to this movie. Um, Netflix got a deal with them done. You might remember Netflix was languishing around $67 a share. Then they did a story with Disney where they get exclusive rights after 2000, I think 2014, early 2014 is when that deal kicks in. But now they lock up The Croods, um, the DreamWorks, uh, Kung Fu Panda, Madagascar, that whole franchise. So. Netflix is very, very unique. They know exactly what we're watching. They know exactly what to give their customers. And clearly they're saying parents are parking their kids in front of tablets and televisions and letting them watch as much animation as possible. And they're giving them, us, the parents of those kids, as much strong content as possible. Yeah, Netflix up big right now, up over six, uh, close to 6% of 12 bucks a share to 226. You might That's remember stuck, yeah. Carl Icahn dumped half a million dollars, half a billion dollars. He's pulled in probably a billion and a half now in wow. Netflix. Wow, smart investor. Uh, we had a big announcement this morning from Osh. I didn't realize they're a San Jose-based company. Sears just spun them off like 17 months ago. A filing for bankruptcy this morning. Looks like Lowe's is going to swing into the rescue. Uh, so uh, Lowe's trying to get a bigger footing here in California. And it makes no sense. Uh, you and I were cynically talking. How does a company that's in home improvement go bankrupt 17 months after being spun off from Sears? Um, home Depot has been rocking and rolling. Home builders have been going along. All because that Fed-assisted low-cost debt. It makes no sense. So, yeah. uh, but again, footprint is important, and talking to your, that angle on yours, um, you know, stores want as much uh, domestic territory as they can get. They try to improve in bad times, uh, get the bigger footprint, get more volume, volume, volume. I just hope they keep them. I remember uh, Yardbirds was a great store around the Bay Area. Home Depot bought them, put them out of business. So hopefully, we'll keep. Please keep Osh around. I love Osh. It's the Walmart effect. Home Depot is going to put Osh out. Oh, great. All right, thanks, Rob. We'll check back with Rob at 9:15 for today's winners and losers on Wall Street. Darius.